Hello everyone, this is Gene and I'm back with another video. I hope everybody's good this Sunday. It's almost one it's almost one PM here in New York City. It looks like a nice Sunday. I'm just chilling. I've just been really tired over the weekend, so I'm trying to relax. RJ is currently snoozing in bed, so he's normal. But I wanted to do a brief video about this image because I think that this image really encapsulates how I believe that the mainstream media, in particular Hollywood, because this is talking about the Captain Marvel film or future TV shows or products or whatnot, views LGBTQ uh, representation. It's sort of my issue with, and I want to be clear, not with LGBTQ rep itself in a work. That's not my problem. My problem is the is the hyper focus and the uh, I guess you could say marketing right or the corporatization of such a thing now to be fair when you're dealing with any industry everything about that industry is going to become uh, a means of uh, marketing right you really it's really hard to get around that right but this I think represents sort of my issue with the hyper focus and how in my opinion it really can cheapen the call for LG, more L lgbtq representation in mainstream media like in movies or in comic books or the various tv shows that are created as spin-offs from the comic books or whatnot so you see this image here from this person who says that they are a fictional character enthusiast, a middle-aged actress, connoisseur, women in film lover, and it's a fan account. So you see this image of this woman turning her back, you know, presenting one dollar, one dollar, right? And and this says Kevin Feige let Captain Marvel, of course, meaning at least I believe it means Carol Danvers, at, the, at least at the moment, who was put by Brie Larson, right? Let Captain Marvel kiss a woman. This, I believe, encapsulates how the media in general views LGBTQ representation as just a cheap marketing ploy. You see how it doesn't say to you, know, to, you know, tell a love story or explore a theme or anything like that. It just says, let Captain Marvel kiss a woman. First of all, as this person may or may not know, Carol in the comics is straight. That's actually one of the things that they have consistently maintained over this reboot that's been going on for like 10 years now, which is the fact that she is a raging heterosexual. But that certainly wouldn't stop them from presenting her as a lesbian or, or bisexual in any sort of TV show or movie. I mean, you can look at the movie itself. They uh, retconned a lot of her past, and in particular, they retconned the gender of the original Marvel. In the comics, Captain Marvel was uh, a male, and in the movie, they made Marvel female. So I wouldn't put it past Hollywood if they brought uh, the character of Captain Marvel back, or, or at least Carol Danvers' Captain Marvel back in any major way to completely go against what's in the uh, comics, current or in the past and make her lesbian or bisexual. But if they did that, if they did that, it would be because of this. Not because, in my opinion at least, not because they actually care about LGBTQ representation, not because they actually want to um, put the experience of being gay or bi and discovering that and, and coming to terms with that and and you know, having it as part of your life and, and part of your uh, personal identity, not because they actually want to explore what it would be like as a superhero to be of this particular orientation, not because they want to tell a thoughtful love story or anything like that, but because they view it as you know a cheap way to get attention, right? Just 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 a, a cheap means of getting attention. Which, of course, if they did such a thing, the media attention they would get would probably, at the very least, be similar to all of the media attention uh, only a few weeks ago when the news dropped about John Kent uh, inheriting the mantle of Superman 
and being bisexual and having a boyfriend and all this? What did everybody refer to it as? Regardless of which side of the of the debate that you were on. What was nearly everyone referring to it as? Bisexual Superman. Bisexual Superman. Right? Which, in my opinion, to reduce John Kent as a character uh, just to his sexuality, right? First of all, to, to say by Superman uh, mis misrepresents the character because most people know Superman as Clark Kent, right? So that's obviously done to get eye eye eyeballs on, on the work, right? To get attention. But the media right presentation boils down the character of John Kent to just the image of him kissing that uh the uh, Jay Naka Nakamura character who seems to have a bigger crush on 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 Lois than he than he does on John but that's a story for another day but that's why in my opinion that's why they do it because it gets attention and, and unfortunately we all sort of play into that game whether we are for it or against it we're all playing into that game and it's really sad because there are ways uh, to introduce LGBTQ characters in a respectful manner for example if and this is a big if the X-Men 97 series is actually at least halfway decent they actually could use that series to introduce characters like Dokken. You could tell the Wolverine arc and introduce Dokken that way. You could introduce North Star if you wanted to do a coming out story. You could you could expand upon Mystique's history and through that introduce Destiny and many other characters. But sadly, and maybe it's me being blackpilled, maybe it's me being cynical, but sadly I don't think that's going to happen. Now, we'll never know, and as I've said before, I hope to be wrong, but something tells me that if they do uh, introduce LGBTQ uh, characters or, or issues into that particular show or into any sort of, I can't even necessarily call it a geek work anymore because it's not really made for the geeks now. It's made for the more casual uh, movie-going audience who isn't too familiar with the comics, so 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 it's kind of like comics in name only. It's the best way I could call it, right? But I guess the mainstream version or inter or interpretation. My concern is that because especially since from what I know of Marvel or at least people at Marvel like Victoria Alonso have said that, you know, LGBTQ rep is something they really want to focus on. I think that sadly they're going to focus on it and present it in the wrong way, not in a thoughtful, respectful way that will actually make an impact on people's lives or open people's eyes or, or opinions about it. I think like everything else, they're just gonna do it to the point of just marketing and getting attention, right? Getting cheap attention. Like, I don't know if this is the most appropriate um, Comparison, but you know, kind of like if, if 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 someone's at like a strip club or what's up or whatever, what do they do? They throw dollar bills at the dancer, right? They show their appreciation by throwing dollar bills at the dancer. Now, of course, the dancer could very well make a lot of money in this way, right? But are they exactly showing that they value the dancer as a person by doing that? Not really. I don't know of too many strippers who come away from that life or from that job and think, hmm, my audience really respected me as a person, right? And I kind of get the same vibe here, even if, ne even if this particular tweet and image is not necessarily trying to make that connection. But anyway, um, that's the video. Please let me know what you think, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day or night wherever you are.